right. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for, thanks for dropping in again um, to learn how to tie the San Juan worm. Um, this, is, this is surely not a, a difficult fly to tie, and it's, it's one that is always seemed to, seems to be uh, up for debate as far as whether it's a, a legit fly that you should be fishing. But um, the way I look at it is it's, it's, uh, it represents an aquatic worm, and, and aquatic worms are just part of a fish's diet. So I really don't have a problem fishing this, and I, I, they're so simple to tie. And, I will not be caught dead paying a couple bucks for a San Juan worm. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is on a this is this is a rather big one. This is a size ten uh, size ten scud hook. Um, I think it's the TM Co twenty four eighty seven. If you're looking for the specific number, um, I'm going to tie this one in pink. I I use pink. I use red. I use brown. Um, a few different colors you can tie it in, but we're going to go ahead and tie this one in. I uh, use an ADOT uni thread. Um, I don't know this is such a such a simple fly. I don't know if the the type of thread that you use really matters much at all. Um, but that's uh, that just happens to be the size that I grabbed for this one. So we're gonna work our thread all the way back to um, kind of back to the bend of the hook. And the I use ultra chenille. I don't. I don't think you'd ever want to go any bigger than the ultra chenille for a for a San Juan worm. Um, but there's lots of different lots of different companies that produce this stuff, and and I always just look for the the chenille that is uh, it looks the softest and it's it seems quite dense because I just think it it lasts longer. Um, I've got a older piece of red here that if you look at it, it's just you can tell it's not it's not wound nearly as tight as as this pink stuff so uh, that's what I'm gonna use and you can make these as, as big as you want um, I'm just gonna I usually end up cutting them to the length when I'm done so we're gonna make uh, our first tie down back near the bend of the hook and I'm gonna take about three wraps and we want to make sure that those wraps are are tight so that the chenille doesn't spin around and keep your thread tension tight as you work your way forward And we're going to try to, at this point, to cover up as much of the hook with the pink thread. So I'm going to go up, I'm going to work my way back down. And then we're going to go back up. And we'll go up to um, probably about the three-quarter length of the hook. And that's where we're going to tie in our, I think our second tie down. And again, Tension on this is important, so put as much tension on the thread as you can without breaking it. Uh, three or four wraps there should be good. And then we come up behind the eye of the hook to slip in our whip finish. Oops. that again. I'm actually going to go ahead and cut that off first so this long piece of chenille is not in the way. That is, that is a San Juan worm. Um, I don't know if this part matters much, but uh, something I always do at the end is all, I'm just gonna burn the, the tips, uh, burn the tips of the, of the fly so that it, it gives it uh, just a little bit more, a little bit more of a worm look to it. I don't think that probably matters at all, um, but I do think it also helps to to kind of keep the fly, the tips of the fly and in, intact and make it last a little bit longer. So there it is, San Juan worm. Uh, it's a beauty and it's uh, not a difficult one to tie. So hope that helped if you were looking to, to tie up some of these and, and good luck out there. Thanks.